President Bola Amba Etidobo had a convocation with the use of APC on Thursday, July 27, 2023, there at the council chamber of the presidential villa in Abuja. Now, during this convocation, he was addressing the youth of APC, telling them that he knows what people are passing through at this time of the removal of first subsidy in our country, Nigeria. Now, he was telling them that he knows what their uncles, their sisters, brothers, moms, fathers are passing through at this time because of the hike in the price of fuel pump. Now, he was like telling them that everybody should persevere, that this removal of fuel subsidy is for the good of all Nigerians. Now, he is saying that this is what people has to pass through today for the greatness and better tomorrow. Call on us for your birthday shout out. Birthday shout out of your children, that of your husband, that of your wife. You can as well tell us to publicize any celebration of your choice. You can as well tell us to advertise your product for you so that it can get to the public. You can chat us up through 080-67841298. He was saying that for the leaders and the allies who are trying to flee from Nigeria, that it is not advisable and not acceptable to him that everybody should be there in Nigeria to pass through this. Many have this in mind that the idea of removing the first subsidy in our country, Nigeria, will make Nigeria to be great. But what other persons have been saying is this, that the problem does not lie on the removal of fuel subsidy. Rather, when you remove the fuel subsidy, what will you do with the proceeds? Now, another should think from this direction that Nigeria supplies this fuel to some other countries that are neighboring our country, Nigeria. And then, these other countries that are neighboring Nigeria are selling their own fuel at cheaper prices more than the country that supplies to them. So what happens that made Nigeria to be selling this fuel at a higher price than the price that those that are now being supplied to are selling at? It is true we need the removal of fuel subsidy. And now, will we remove the fuel subsidy of ethane and use the proceed to buy SUG for the House of Representatives to give some allowances to the aides of the past leaders. It is true that there is necessity in the removal of fuel subsidy, but Nigerians need the process from this removal of fuel subsidy to be placed at places that are referred to as priorities to Nigerians. There are some things that Nigerians need in this Nigeria as a country. We need good roads. We need good health sector. We need good schools in our country, Nigeria. We need those amenities that are beneficial to the Nigerians. So if there is a removal of fuel subsidy and then there has been gotten proceeds from those removal of fuel subsidy, they should be channeled to those needs of Nigerians so that Nigerians will now know that those things they pass through during the removal of fuel subsidy, that the proceeds from those things they pass through are now being used for something that are useful. And then the government is expected at this time of removal of fuel subsidy to cut down the cost of governance. There is no way the government will be on seat telling the youths of Nigeria that he is feeling what they are feeling. He is passing through what they are passing through. But you yourself, you are still collecting that same amount of money as your salary at the end of every month. You are still making a budget of giving a 40 million naira car to a person that is on seat. And you are telling those masses that you are passing through what they are passing through. No, you are not telling them the truth. If you are telling the masses the truth, 
you have to do something. As you are feeling what others are feeling, then you have to cut the cost of governance so that all Nigerians will be equal at this time of passing through this removal of fuel subsidy.